Welcome back to Trash Panda Off-Road. Today we're going to start the opening steps to removing the motor out of that tracker to put it into that tracker. We've already done a motor swap video when we first put the motor into this rig. Uh, two videos. They weren't all that detailed though, but we did do them back when we first started this channel. This video here, we're going to do a quick step-by-step -step here just on how to remove the radiator. So for me, well, for everybody, I guess, first thing you want to do is drain your fluid. I was running straight water in this drained it in the catch can the best I could anyways just because uh, you guys fans of the channel of course know I got three large well two large dogs uh, but I got another dog here right now so three large dogs then we'll take 10 millimeter and it's got one post right here on this far side that we'll have to loosen up and then it also has one on this side same location that holds the radiator into the bracing unfortunately for some reason one for me is a nine one for me is a ten so then we'll also undo this hose and then start to undo these fan shroud mounts which should also be tens so we got all that stuff loosened up we'll go ahead and remove the hose Set it off to the side. I like to take a quick second here, tighten down these so that we don't lose them. Tighten back down these rings. All right. Also, we have the catch can. Go ahead and slide that up. Take it out of here. Set that off to the side as well, just to get it out of the way. So now that we've got all this stuff undone up top, we have to go down below, and there's a couple of things we got to undo down there. So when you head underneath the rig, there's going to be a couple of different things you're going to have to deal with. Obviously, another hose clamp, the hose to run more coolant. Oh my God, guys, I can't talk today. Um, and then on this, mine's an automatic, so I'm going to have... Automatic transition line, transmission lines. One there, one right over here on the other side of the transmission. So we're going to unhook those. Make sure we pin those up and cover them so gunk doesn't get into them. And then they won't continue to leak as long as the pump for the transmission doesn't run. Um, and you're not facing downhill too much. You shouldn't have an issue with that leaking out of there. There's also one more bolt for the fan shroud right there that I already backed out. So we'll take those three, four things off. <sighs> Dogs are climbing on me. <laughs> and then we will uh, see about getting this thing pulled out of there. Alright, so update here. Kind of something I forgot. I mentioned there was just one fan shroud bolt. There's actually two. There's a second one down right there, straight down by the power steering pump. So now in theory everything's loosened, we should be able to get this thing to pull out of there. I think I remember having trouble doing that with the other video though. Let's take a look. Just like that, one dirty muddy radiator. And then, fan shroud. Easy peasy. We're going to go ahead and keep working on this thing. Get the motor out of it. Like I said, we're going to put it in that one. So, keep watching the channel. Put your comments down below. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Do what you're supposed to do. Tell your friends. Trash Panda Off-Road. 
Geo Tracker content. Over 40 videos at this time. Also, post new stuff every day on Instagram at Trash Panda Off Road. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.